Okay, so if you're here, I'm assuming you're a web designer who's looking to get more clients. Uh, pretty much just like every other web designer out there. So I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to get new web design clients using Google Maps. Not many people know about this, but it's going to take some work. So we'll start by opening up Google Maps uh, and pull up the map of your local neighborhood. Then on the left hand side, you notice there's categories for different service based businesses, um, you know, separated by category. So pick one. We're going to choose restaurants. Uh, because every restaurant should have a website these days, more so than, than any other business probably. And by clicking that, we're gonna look at an, a view of a large number of restaurants in my local neighborhood. Then from there, I'm simply just gonna start clicking on each profile. And we'll start with this one, Su Good Chinese, nice pun. And on the left-hand side, all the information pops up, 4.3 out of 5, great reviews, 130 reviews. And if you go further down, you'll notice there is a section for the link to the restaurant's website. We're going to click that. And from this point, we're going to determine whether or not this restaurant has a good enough website or if they are sorely in need of a new redesign. And I think it's safe to say that this restaurant is in need of a redesign. This is extremely dated. And oh my goodness, it's not even responsive. Yeah. Not even responsive, which is the number one requirement these days. So it'll look terrible on mobile. So Su Good Chinese restaurant looks like they got good reviews, but they could definitely use a new website. So at this point, you're basically going to take all the content from the website, which for images, you're literally just right clicking save image as. And then for text, you're just going to, you know, copy and paste. And you're going to redesign this website. No, I'm not kidding. You're going to pull all of the content from their website, redesign it as if they're your customer, make it look really good, basically finish the thing. Uh, and to be honest, it's not going to take you that long. Like there's, there's so little content on these restaurant websites, especially this one. You can get this done in an hour or two tops. And so you're going to basically rebuild this website. And then at that point, you're going to get in touch with the restaurant. Uh, you'll get their contact info. Uh, we don't have an email listed here, unfortunately. So you're probably going to have to call them. But if you call them and get their email at that point, or if you, most of the restaurants will have emails, but this one doesn't. So if you have to call them and get their email, that works too. Uh, but you're going to email them, and this is what you're going to email them. Something as simple as this. A uh, little preview here. So this is a template I've used in the past to email these restaurants. Hey, X, your restaurant looks delicious. I wish I resided in X area so I can come by and taste it myself. Honestly, I don't even remember how I found my way to your website, but I couldn't help but notice that it's not great. So I hope you don't mind but I went ahead and built you a new one. I'm not kidding. It's right here. Then you put the link there. Let me know what you think. And it's as simple as that. So you're going to contact them, send them the link. Uh, be sure to also use a link tracker. Uh, so there's a company called Bitly. Oops, that's not it. You want to use a link tracker because then you can use that link You'll be able to tell not only when they've opened the email, but if they've actually viewed uh, your website through the link tracker. And from that point on, it's it's literally just rinse and repeat. So, yeah, you'll end up doing some work for free. Not everyone will buy the site from you once you've put in the effort to build it. That is true. And you're going to have to brush up on your sales skills in order to convince people to buy. But if you can get a 20 to 40 percent close rate with this strategy it's more than worth it for a scrapping new web designer like yourself so the idea here is you're literally sending these people completed websites it only took you an hour or two to build and you're hoping to close or sell about a third of them and guaranteed you're, that's going to be a profit still even when you factor in the websites or the restaurants that didn't want to buy your website um and you know what this is, to me, honest, this is more effective than a lot of the uh, typical client acquisition strategies because a lot of those will take months to see results from. So if you're looking for a way to get web design clients quickly, uh, this is a great way to do it. I've done it in the past. And like I said, just hit for a target of 20 to 40% close rate 
and uh, you'll be laughing. Let me know if this works for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching.